Redfin perch are one of New Zealand's more uncommonly targeted freshwater species, mainly because they live in locations away from trout. However, these fish look great and taste excellent when caught from clear waterways. In this video, I'm going to go over some tips and tricks to help you catch a perch in New Zealand. Oh, we got it! <laughs> Perch in this country can reach 50 centimeters in length and weigh as much as 2.5 kilos, making for a really good alternative to trout in still waters. One great thing about fishing for them is how unfussy they are when it comes to catching them on lures. Redfins seldom refuse a lure when it is presented to them, as they are full-blown predators and love to eat any small fish, including smaller perch. Perch can be found right around the country from Auckland in the north, Hawke's Bay on the east coast, Taranaki on the west coast, Manawatu and Wellington in the south of the North Island. They also spread down the east coast of the South Island from Canterbury to Otago. Perch prefer warm shallow lakes so look for these waters rather than the deep clear stuff you'd fish for trout in. Classic perch lakes have more reeds and structure along with a muddy bottom. Redfin are a unique species that can have very different sizes across different waters. Some are loaded with small perch that outcompete each other, Take a photo. <laughs> and in other fisheries, there are a medium population of solitary adults. The big solitary fish breed and then over the course of the year, eat the smaller perch, keeping the average size high and the smaller fish in check. Soft baiting is my favourite method to target perch and it is by far the most successful in my opinion. It avoids small fish and targets the largest who are likely to be feeding on the little ones. You only need a light spinning set, something in the 2 to 5 kilo rating, plus some lures and you're ready to fish. Paddle tail soft plastics are my favourite choice as perch are ambush predators, very different to a trout. They like a slow retrieve in their zone to spark a take. Bang! Straight away. A paddle tail can be retrieved slowly, deeply, and still puts out a huge amount of action. Oh, and would you look at that? <laughs> there was another one sitting on that snack. <laughs> My favourite lures are the Savage Gear Cannibal Paddle Tails, specifically the 6.5 centimetre models. They come in a huge range of colours and my favourites are the Glitterbug, Natural Perch and Dirty Roach. At just 65 centimetres, it's just perfect for a bite sized snack and I barely ever get a refusal. The Dartspin Fire Tiger is my second choice when something else is needed to bring the fish in. It is a lure that combines both the advantages of the blade and the action of a soft plastic. They are better jerked along the bottom and have an excellent perch coloration. For jig heads, there is nothing more suited to the shallow perch lakes than the TT Lock 1 16th of an ounce jig head. I thread on the dart spin lure, like this. And a Savage Gear Cannibal, like this. On the retrieve, 1 16th of an ounce is just enough to keep the lure deep enough at a slow speed. Perch love to sit on structure, so this might be an overhanging tree, reeds or even a submerged drop off. We'll do another one over there, right on that snag. And would you look at that? <laughs> If there are any man-made objects in the water, like docks or buoys, these are prime big fish holding areas, so cast here before covering the rest of the water. Perch are one of the most tolerant fish I've ever sight fished. While there are exceptions, many will allow you to walk the shoreline very close to them and don't spook when they notice you. 
With this laid back behavior, it is easy to splash a lure into their zone and rather than bolting, they head to the lure and investigate it. After they grab the lure, it's important to give them a firm set as they have a soft mouth. Often I've lost perch after hooking up. So the, oh, he's come off. And if the lure hasn't gone too deep, the fish can stay in the area for a second cast to be placed. Come back for him. He'll come again. <laughs> he did, straight away. Back again. It is always worth casting again, as often I've had perch eat the lure for a second time. Large perch will make themselves known on light gear, but they normally only have one good burst in them before they opt to try and shake the hook out. Big boy. Wow. Not the other boy. Keep your rod high and real smooth and lead them to the bank. Oh boy. Wow. When one fish is hooked up, keep a close eye out behind it, as on countless occasions I've witnessed other large fish flock to the area to see what all the commotion is about. <laughs> Look at it! Sometimes they even try and steal the lure from the hooked fish. Be ready for a quick de-hook to cast out again to go for a double. Oh, here's another one. Just had a look at it. They want it. They want it so bad. Oh, we got it. <laughs> <laughs> look at that. With these few tips, I've hopefully helped you to learn a little bit more about our perch in New Zealand and provide a few insights into the best ways to catch them.